I'm just going to um, start going through forms practical tasks here. So I'm going to go through uh, task one, uh, the incredibly named survey surveys. I mean, you wouldn't think it, but I was proud of that at the time. Well, proud's a strong word. Anyway, um, complete a wireframe uh, for this page for a survey. So basically you're, you're designing a form um, and indicate input types and validation. So uh, this shouldn't be too complicated if we just go through this in order. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to look down the bottom first here. So there's a next page button, and it says action is submit page one uh, dot php. So you know, remember that would be part of the form. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. First of all, their full name. So have a look at my beautifully balsamic uh, wireframe here. Um, full name. So of course you could do a first name and surname. That would be fine here. But basically. We want to see that it's text, we want a suitable label there. As I say, you could split it over a couple of boxes if you want. If you particularly want to include a title or or something, you know, a Mr. or Mrs. etc. Uh, thing there, you could do that. Um, but what we're looking for is text. And as far as validation goes, presence check is probably the only really appropriate thing here. Um, what's next? The postcode, fair enough. So postcode, again, text. Prince check, and you could put a, a length check on that. Um, Post goes in when you include a space, uh, shouldn't be more than eight characters, and of course that just reduces the chance of um, people, you know, making a, a complete mistake. Reduces the chance. We could actually put a minimum uh, sort of length on there as well, I suppose. Um, okay, what have we got next? Age range and these sort of categories. So. Um, We've got. Have I missed something there? Why have I got? Why have I got number of people in household? Oh yeah, because it's, it's the next thing. I just did it in a different order, right? Okay, number of people in household. I'll do that first. So it is a number, unsurprisingly. Um, you probably want to say it's a presence check and just one or more, I suppose. I mean, you could put an upper limit on that, couldn't you? Um. But you'd want to be careful about that. Um, moving on back to the age range thing, so you you could do it either as select or as radio. So uh, in other words, either as a drop down menu that's select, or as radio buttons, little sort of option buttons. Um, there aren't too many possibilities there. They look to be acceptable. One eighteen or under eighteen twenty five. Blah, blah. So four possibilities there so you could you know you could fit in four radio buttons there that'd be fine radio buttons have the advantage that all the options are very obvious to the user straight away but of course drop down menus have the advantage of making it a bit um you know a bit neater in terms of using space anyway uh that's it i think don't think i've missed anything see ya